Hello and welcome to the last stage of the Prague Easter races. This is the handicapped start. So in front of me there are two guys that are running in the same category. Uh, I think the this guy right in front of me, he started like eight seconds uh, before me. So... <laughs> This was uh, this was like a deciding race, you know. So uh, the emotions were high, I would say, and uh, expectations maybe. Uh, well, I wasn't really expecting that I will caught up on many people. I expected that I might be able to, you know, compete with this guy and the guy which started another few seconds in front of us. So, yeah, that was my expectations that I will beat these two guys. Uh, so, we are in the sandstone area. All the slopes are steep. Uh, most of the time you are climbing up and uh, it's uh, physically demanding, let's say. To this first control, uh, well, it seemed best to me to go to the mapping start and then from that to the left, to the along that path and uh, basically I was also following the other guy but it seems that he took some different approach or I'm mistaken and he's not running our category but uh, I met him along um, later on at uh, some of our controls as well so I think he just had a different idea how to get to the control maybe he climbed to the second level uh, elsewhere uh, to me this uh, you know let's say more straightforward thinking uh, that's that's me you know i'm i'm usually picking up the obvious route choice so here I was going uh, along the path and then through this uh, through this volley, which I think um, I could have gone left and then then climb up a little bit later. Um, I don't know. That's that's what I did. I think I, I was following this guy because he looked like he has the same control and he looked like same age as I. So, but I don't know if he is the same category, but definitely he was going to the same control. So now we are basically following the contours, climbing up and uh, uh, yeah i was continuously checking where i am i was trying to keep you know my head cool and keep my head like you know mm, focused on on the position where am i so i think uh, for the most of the race I think I did a good job in that <laughs> regard. So now we are just going around the the sand rocks along the contours. And now basically I'm approaching to the to the control. I think I I got somehow distracted by the rocks and and by the map. I didn't properly identify that the control is to my right. Maybe I didn't, um, you know, turn the map correctly and I was 
I was looking for the control here, which obviously is not correct. So I lost a couple seconds, but I, I saw these guys going up there and then I realized that it's actually that the, that the control is actually in this small chute or, you know, opening in the rocks. And there was this guy. Uh, so I got to the control, uh, basically follow this guy up. At one point here, I was thinking that uh, I will go al around the, all these rocks and basically uh, I will go like in, in that second um, level of the rocks like like he is going uh, I'm not sure why I decided to go otherwise maybe I was a little bit scared that uh, I will get lost in those rocks um, when I watched uh, my uh, advent the, my route choices uh, later on I um, I definitely figured that going now to the right would be a better choice than, you know, climb up all this very, very steep uh, slope. Uh, that was my choice uh, because um, we had there our first stage. So I kind of knew where I'm going. And uh, I kind of knew that I will be going to control two from above. And um, maybe that was also one of my reasoning that I will come to the control uh, from, from above. I think uh, now I think that that was not a good decision because I'm actually climbing much more steeper slope now than I would be climbing if I took the the route around the rocks all the way below the control too and then climb up those 30 meters to the control from below uh, if you get me you know so anyways Sometimes, you know, you do wrong choices or not ideal choices. Uh, it took me maybe two minutes to climb up uh, this part. But I knew where am I here. I knew where to go. So now at this point, I just, uh, I just knew, knew where I'm going. I just followed this path and then all along uh, there was this you know i had to climb up a couple contours uh, later on as you as you can see now i'm going down soon uh, i will go to the left and i will have to climb up this it's not very steep but uh, still it's it's a hill so uh, it wasn't uh, very uh, it wasn't very pleasant to 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 run i mean it wasn't it was difficult to run that's to be more precise so now i'm not even running you know i'm i'm walking because it's too steep so that was again one of the reasons why probably taking the lo little bit longer route but beneath all these rocks that are on my left I think that would be a better choice and faster you know because if I had to climb up that first shallower volley but very steep and then uh, here again I'm basically climbing so I'm very slow now when I'm on the top, yeah, it, it, it got better and I was able to run. And um, 
when I'm running, I can be fast, but uh, yeah, uh, retrospectively, I would say this was not the ideal choice. But of course, for me, uh, you know, I was following the contour. Uh, I roughly knew where I am and uh, I saw on my left the, the hilltop. So I knew that around the bend I should basically go down. So now I was uh, heading to the control. I was looking for this uh, little opening to, for this volley and and soon I should get to the control. And I even see a runner in front of me. Uh, so probably I was already thinking about control number three. Control number three, in my opinion, that was pretty easy and very obvious. Uh, so I just basically ran straight to control three. I just had to take proper bearing. So here are runners that came from this path from below and as you can see it would be faster you know this is n it is a steep uh, slope but not that not not that steep I would say uh, yeah the control free is right in front of me and maybe I wasn't really you know I, I was maybe just cautious not to step on some branch and not to fall you know but uh, it was fairly obvious that the control is here uh, I would say that uh, for control number four that was similarly you know easy let's say I I kind of uh, saw that the direction already and uh, so I knew that here is the the first volley and I have to cross this little ridge and then there will be the second volley where is the control and that I have to pass the there is this uh, path so um, maybe I'm catching my breath now I don't know why I'm what I'm looking at yeah correcting myself maybe I don't know now again this is a little bit steep so I'm not I'm running a little bit cautiously let's say you know not really not really trying to uh, trying not to kill myself let's say so here is the path and then basically the first opening to the left there should be my control and uh, you could say that uh, I might have gone up a little bit sooner you know but uh, I don't know for me this seemed pretty uh, okay -ish. you know the control is right here so if I would go from above I would come from above and then I would have to climb up again so not not a big difference to me at least so now I climbed up this shallow volley and small volley let's say and basically I try to take a bearing and uh, run as straight as possible uh, of course there were a couple of vehicle paths and some smaller paths paths so that helped help me and um, and basically I think I think I kept my direction pretty well uh, it was slightly uh, up so it was uh, I couldn't run like 
on a flat surface i was going up a little bit now maybe i i deviated too much so now i'm i'm trying to correct myself a little bit uh, yeah it uh, yeah i i maybe did a small di deviation here but not nothing serious let's say um, so now i was just trying to keep my uh, uh, how to say that keep my direction around around the contours uh, i should uh, uh, yeah there were many runners around I should get to to this crossing. Uh, there, there. I saw on my right side. I saw that there is this junction. Yes, you see. So my I'm my GPS is slightly off. I'm right on the junction, and then I saw this control at the significant trees. I slightly I got drawn to it because. Um, my control was also significant tree but i expected my control a little bit further so i kind of knew that, that that's not my control then i got distracted by this other control which is end of some uh, narrow ride but uh, again i i knew that that's not that's not my control i knew that my control should be some significant tree and when I looked to the left, I saw it. It was very, very nicely visible. And uh, to control six, that was basically straight down through this uh, narrow ride. Uh, I think my GPS is off, or uh, I don't know. Uh, he is okay. He said he is okay. I was checking on him. So, again, this control six was very easy in my opinion. You know, I was. Oh, actually, the narrow right is on my, on my right. So the GPS is okay. Now this was the volley, basically, or its beginning. So that was uh, kind of kind of easy you know like it it guided me towards the control uh, my camera is all shaky because I was running downwards you know so I did a lot of big movements so control six again I think it was very easy to get to control six to control seven Again, it was it was very close. I just went uh, to the main volley, and then I knew that I have to go slightly to the left and up. Uh, so, and um, it was very it it was clearly visible, you know, where you are going. So, I think this was again for navigation. It was easy. Uh, it was difficult to climb up, obviously, because it's up, up the slope, and the control is somewhere above us, uh, on top of this rock. Uh, I don't know who am I talking to or why I'm looking around. Yeah, maybe I was expecting it sooner, I don't know. But it's here, you see? You got it. So I think this guy was same category as, as I am. And I think this guy is also same category as I am. So now to control eight. Again, this was more about how straight you can keep your bearing. And since there were so many of us, it was fairly easy you know basically you are still checking each other 
Uh, I took my bearing, but I was slightly following this guy. And, um, you know, what can I say? It, it was more about how, how physically fit you are. But after three days, everybody is a bit exhausted. Uh, we didn't do any mistake, any big deviation to control 8, so maybe I will speed it up a little bit now, so we can get to control 8 closer. Uh, when we got past the main ro m bigger path, I already saw these uh, volleys or erosion gullies, let's say. So again, this was easy, you know. It was in the second gully and I came there when somebody was leaving from the control. So I, f I roughly knew where to go. Uh, from number 8 to number 9, I chose to go straight through the forest. Uh, there was maybe possibility to go back to the road and uh, go along that road. I think that's a legit choice as well. Uh, but for me, it seemed that... Uh, going straight up uh, is okay as well so there was this fenced area uh, as a as a kind of an anchor point for me also when i got to this clearing i saw it in the map so i knew where i am and i could you know plan my direction slightly to the right so Navigation wise, this was again easy, let's say, at least to me at that point, I was very confident uh, where I'm going. And also, you know, when you are running in a pack, like, you know that there is someone who is following you and if he is going to overtake you, you will see him. It kind of helped my confidence, uh, so I was, you know, I wasn't really thinking too much. I just was checking my map. Uh, so now I will speed it up again a little bit because uh, the slope is very steep and it will take me a while to get to control 9. Uh, here I think I'm closing to control 9. As you see, I was just following the vegetation. That was also very nicely leading me to this point. Now, here it was a little bit tricky. I, I, you know, I didn't really know exactly if it is... Well, according to my description, it was somewhere here on the top. So... I, I was cautious to go down to the volley. Uh, yes, so now there is nothing else to say about 9. I found it nicely. And now to control 10. Again, I think there was a possibility to climb up back and then go to the right and through the this steep through the through the volley where there is this road which is 
you know, it's not this volley which we see now. I would have to go around this, um, around this ridge and uh, around um, to the next volley. Uh, but I instead, um, again, as I say, uh, said before, I'm I'm fairly direct person. Uh, it seemed to me that I would have to climb up, anyways, from that volley. Uh, so uh, at the end, I decided to go straight up. It took me a while to get up, so I will I will speed it up a little bit. So around this point I was uh, already heading to control 10. Uh, it, uh, it was um, right in front of me below this cliff and uh, uh, at this point I was already thinking how to get to control 11. Basically I, I, what I wanted to do was to follow the contours and to go around all these mm, all these uh, yeah mm, how to say that all I didn't want to go straight up to the hill I, I wanted to go around the hill the problem is here that there was some fallen trees uh, I think um, I could have um, you know, figure out some better way. This was this was messy. Um, I think either I should go down, or um, maybe to go somehow around it. Well, I managed. Probably, I'm still capable of this kind of movements. So, whatever, I passed it. Now uh, I'm just trying to pick up, uh, you know, the, the contour. So I'm going slightly up. Uh, I'm thinking now where I'm trying to figure out where I am. And uh, I guess that uh, I think I, I know where I am. So when I when I will get to this, you know, to this top, I will finally start running. Maybe I will go around this mess. Yes. And then uh, then from here I went I would say fairly straight to control uh, number 11. So that was good. Uh, I I don't think I did big mistake. Uh, by going uh, around these contours mm, I guess there was mm, some better choice maybe but now it was uh, now it was going well because I was going down uh, and this is my uh, buddy uh, I go running with <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I told him hi. Maybe I didn't. I don't remember. Uh, now I'm just. I just have to go straight. Uh, I was trying to keep, uh, you know, keep my cool, trying to keep uh, good direction. So I was, you know, going cautiously, stopping, a little bit missing the flow. But then I saw the runners. Uh, heading to some control so uh, from this point I was like yeah that that's the direction I have to go so again this this was easy uh, because you had uh, some kind of a lead you know uh, sometimes you catch on someone or sometimes someone catch on you and basically each of you are guiding the other one to the control you know like this guy i was i met him at control five and he's still uh on my back 
now maybe he could get uh, me sooner uh, to control 12 uh, yeah that this one was kind of tricky but i knew that i want to go up the hill and then when i will be on the top i will have to go to the to the rocks so i will speed it up a little bit it will take or maybe not let's say let's say uh, i will just blah blah something <laughs> um, i don't know what to say you know like here i'm also almost getting to the top and i saw this one guy uh, who was previously leaving the control 11 so i followed him as well and he basically led me to the control maybe this other guy in yellow and blue is also heading to that control i guess yeah and then i saw the other guy climbing up and i i knew that guy he's from uh, he's also a, a runner who you know it's it's um, it's a orient he's from an orienteering club uh, that um, that is near um, nearby my town where i live uh, so that was also reassuring and also kind of motivating I, I really wanted to caught up on this guy i i was losing like four or maybe six minutes on this guy uh before this stage so when i saw him i was like man you gotta catch him you almost got him <laughs> so uh, this is very i think this is very difficult and uh, not difficult this is very nice about these um, multi-stage races when the last stage is this uh, they start you in the handicap and basically you have a chance to catch up on uh, on your uh, opponents you know so I was really pushing it and I for some reason I knew that this guy is also my category so I was following him although I knew that to control 13 I have to go along this path and when the path will go down will be turning down that then at, around that point i will want to go along the contour and also there was this uh, big uh, cliff somewhere on my left uh yeah here you see here on my left there is this big cliff so right behind it i i knew that i have to go straight as as is as this one as this guy is doing so here it was it was pretty like easy you just you just have to keep uh, keep yourself on the on the contour level you know so I didn't want to go up the up this small hill I just wanted to go around I thought it will be easier you know for running and uh, so this was uh, this was I think good decision although I had to stop a little bit uh, I wasn't able to run and then uh, here I saw the the cliffs or rocks in front of me and I saw people punching the controls and also I saw that that uh, body of mine who who also uh, who i was trying to catch you know and i didn't expect that i will catch him to be honest this was very unexpected and now i i got very motivated to catch up on him so at the one hand i was trying to ke keep my head cool at the other hand i was trying to catch on him and uh, I know that he is better in a navigation so I kind of just mm, you know uh, 
I, I wasn't really navigating uh, by my own right now, you know, if you know what I'm trying to say. Here, you know, we are just going along the contours uh, because, uh, yeah, it doesn't make sense to go down. Uh, maybe now when uh, there is this um, opening, uh, you know, where there is this uh, clearing. Yeah, that makes sense that here and here. Uh, I got distracted by him. Uh, I mean, he did a mistake here and I uh, just replicated the same mistake. He was heading to the end uh, of that big cliff where control 9 was. But I knew that I should go to the right, but again, my confidence is not not big enough, you know. So I kind of followed him, which was which was actually stupid because our control definitely was not there. I should have gone straight to the right. I don't know why I why I followed him. If I would go straight now, that would be correct, but uh, somehow maybe I think it was my confidence that uh, betrayed me and I went too far. Uh, the control is not there definitely. Uh, and now I'm, I'm I see that the control is not there and I was like no we, we should go back. I why I'm going there? Stupido! No, 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 no. Now he's going back. He is also distracted. And yes, everybody, <laughs> everybody was surprised that this is the control, uh, that there is not the control. Again, this guy, and we both knew that it's in front of my, in 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 front of us on the next, um, like little hill uh, above this valley so man this was a this was a stupid mistake so here is my opponent from the other club he is you know he's nice uh, he's uh, in navigation i think he's better but he can do some mistakes as well as and I was just not uh, confident enough, you know. Uh, and that was a mistake. I could gain some seconds, maybe minutes here, if I was more confident. Because I remember that um, it seemed to me that uh, we went uh, for the control too early. Uh, yeah, now I guess he's also emotional, you know, now. He knew that I caught up on him. Hmm. To number 15, this was, uh, you know, this was difficult, uh, like, from the perspective of um, this environment, you know, it was steep. I didn't really know which way would be the best to climb down. Uh, at the end I decided to go through this really narrow, not narrow, here was some kind of crack. Uh, I didn't want to fall in it, uh, but uh, I went along it and then somehow climbed down. Uh, this was a little bit sketchy. Uh, uh, I, I must say I wasn't very happy about it but uh, since i was already there whatever and uh, when i got out to the bottom of of this main volley then i went slightly left uh, navigation wise this was clear I, I i saw the opposite side volley in front of me so i was just 
tired, so I, I'm walking, trying to catch my breath, maybe, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, at this point I was, it was okay, I, I knew that I lost him, but uh, at the same time I wasn't too much uh, thinking about it right now. Now the most important thing was to climb up and to pick good direction and to get to number 15. So I will speed it up a little bit because uh, I think I, I got there pretty easily. So as you see, I was kind of following the contour uh, in the direction to control number 15. I think I did pretty well. I basically caught up on, on, on that guy again. Uh, for some reason, he went down this volley, but I decided to go straight. I decided to climb up this uh, small ridge and uh, then go straight to control 16 just to take the bearing and uh, run around the vegetation that will, that is a little bit you know yeah i saw the vegetation you see this vegetation in front of me that was that was basically my lead so i i ran around it and then i fought I should get to this shallow volley somehow and then there will be my control. And I think uh, for the most part I did good job. Yes, uh, I'm now I'm going the right direction now. So uh, overall I, I think this was good execution and I guess I got there before that guy I was chasing, you know, so I had a lead on him now. And uh, I, I remember I was fairly pleased that I don't see him and I'm, I'm first here. So to number 17, I just, it seemed uh, nice to go around a little bit this, this uh, hill and or a ridge and then uh, I, I knew that I have to go straight up. Uh, yes, so so I, I will speed it up a little bit because there is not much to say. I knew here that I'm on that little top and from there I have to go straight, let's say slightly to the left. I will speed it up. There is I'm, I'm keeping my direction fairly well now. Here I got to the edge of the, you know, thick forest, thick young forest. There was this opening where, uh, where was this uh, normal forest. So I was going right direction here. This was still good, but I got distracted by this runner. And I thought uh, that he has uh, same control as I do. And I, I followed him, which was a mistake. My control was actually straight in front of me right now. And uh, uh, what can I say? Yes, well, there were other guys looking for a control. Now, now I'm looking now I got kind of cautious and I was like, maybe I went too far. And no, still no. Okay, now I think I should get back. 
soon. Yeah. Why I'm going here? No, I'm I'm too far. Now I understood it that I'm too far. I started going back along this um, edge of the volley and uh, kind of started panicking. And I saw this guy who was with me all the time and I was like, shit, now it's the end of the race. I have to, I have to pass by him. So I was, I, I was totally caught up by uh, emotion and I was just, you know, I was just going and I was not thinking and as you can see now, I just went to the finish and I totally uh, ignored control number 18. I forgot about it. Uh, I didn't plan for control 18 and here I basically lost all my race. You know, like this was very emotional decision. I was only focusing on control 19 now. I wasn't looking uh, properly at the map. I I didn't saw that guy, even though I looked back, but probably I was just looking at the other runners. And now I'm, I'm heading straight to the finish, you know, still here I could mm, change my decision and go to 18. I would lose, but I wouldn't lose completely. But now, now it's totally lost. You know, I punched the final control and I was like, where are these other guys? And uh, yes, this was uh, very unfortunate and bad decision that cost me the whole series or the whole event. So the what I would say is, you know, don't don't fall for your emotions. Try to keep them cool. But of course it happens and uh, if that happens don't be sad uh, you are just human <laughs> right overall uh, this prague easter is always a nice event uh, i like these sandstones and uh, i uh, i think i will be there next year as well i hope you enjoyed all the all the races with me uh, stay subscribed i will uh, i will post more videos now as the spring season just started and uh, if you want you can leave me some comment it will be it will be nice to hear uh, what do you think cheers